Good morning, ladies and gents. It is Saturday. I just left the diner, had a great breakfast with a couple of my coworkers, and now we're gonna head down to the dealership and uh, see what today brings. I've been meaning to make some dealership life videos. However, dealership life, uh, as of recent, like last week, has been fairly uneventful. Uh, you know, not a whole lot going on, um, although I did sell some cars, uh, just not a lot going on to film throughout the day. And uh, you know, one of the things I'd like to do when I make these dealership lifestyle videos, just take you on the journey of what my day is all about. And uh, you know, unfortunately, it's hard to kind of predict what would happen. So the couple days I was gonna make videos, I ended up not because of nothing going on. And then at like seven o'clock at night, all of a sudden I grabbed a customer and I sold a Chevy Trax, as you can see or barely see here in the photo. The next day, same situation, didn't do much all day. And then all of a sudden at night, around 6.30, 7 o'clock, somebody came in, sold a Silverado, which you can barely see here. So, you know, we're definitely getting some cars sold. I'm excited to show you what's on the lot because there's not all that much left. Uh, we're sort of getting to that depleted inventory again. And uh, factory orders are very slow to be pulled from General Motors at the current moment, at least at our dealership. So, you know, we're, we're doing what we can with what we have and, um, you know, we're gonna see what uh, we're gonna see what today brings. totally beat Ed to the charger. It's a fast charger, so she'll be charged up in about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes, I'd say. Top it off. All right, let's tell people what's up. So about like two months ago, I bring in a harmonica that I found in my house. I think my sister bought this for me as like a gag gift years ago. But I brought it in and every time I sell a car, I do one of these. You know, little small, little small, little small what? You know, a little small tune to just let the staff here know that I sold a car. And it went across pretty good. You know, these two guys over here, Drew and Dave behind me, always got a kick out of it, always laughed. So what I decided to do was get a little uh, a little something for everybody so they can kind of have the same fun that I have. So with Dave, what do you got? There you go. Harold's not at his desk right now, but we can show you what we picked up for him. He got like the uh, receptionist style bell. Jackie, what do you got? Oh, I got more cowbell. You got more cowbell. Eddie? I'm sorry, I need to sign a release, please. <laughs> <laughs> He got the kazoo. Drew, what do you got? He got the bike horn. And Rob's not here at the moment. But Rob got the uh, the dinner triangle. <laughs> Yo, just a little something to add some fun to the day when we're here. And uh, it's been uh, it's been it's been pretty funny. People are liking it. And uh, just like that, we have a 90% a, uh, full battery in the Chevrolet Bolt, which is more than enough to get us through the weekend and back here Monday morning to charge again. I've been hearing, I guess, that they have a, uh, a fix or a battery replacement for the bolts at this point, but I heard something. We have to have an actual forklift at the dealership, which we don't have yet. I don't know when they're going to get that, but um, apparently you cannot start doing the battery uh, swaps until you have an actual... Uh, a full actual forklift at the dealer. I heard that through the grapevine at the dealership here, so I don't know the actual facts behind that, but pretty soon I'm guessing we'll, uh, we'll have a forklift. That actually might make for a good walk around video. We can do a uh, walk around and test drive 
on a forklift. Be pretty cool. Let's look at the lot. As you can see, uh, you know, things are depleted once again. A lot of this is, uh, you know, customer parking, service parking, things like that. All these cars were all uh, for service that haven't been picked up yet. So our entire new car inventory, we're back down to what is like seven or eight cars. We have four Traverses. Uh, looks like we have a 1LT, two 3LTs, and a High Country available. And over here, new to the dealership, we just got a, uh, a 22 Colorado ZR2 in the sand dune uh, color, which looks great. And we have three, uh, three Silverados. These are all the FL models with the 2.7 liter turbo. Uh, so at the moment, this is our entire new car inventory. We're sort of depleted once again. One good thing that did happen in the last uh, two weeks was three of my Corvette orders got pulled by GM. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully they get build weeks, uh, you know, this year, either in like November or December for uh, either a December or a January arrival. That'll be awesome. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab my other camera. I'm actually gonna make a video about that ZR2, uh, like a product walk around review video of that. I'm gonna do that right now. I was shooting that Colorado video. I just got a phone call that I have a customer in the showroom. So we're gonna go, uh, go see what that's about. Do you have a plate? I'm test driving someone in a Silverado. Hello? A previous customer of mine showed up to take a 2.7 liter turbo four cylinder uh, Silverado for a test drive. He's been doing some research on it and wanted to check it out. Uh, this gentleman's bought a car or two for me in the past and he's bought a, he's bought numerous cars uh, not from me because he's willing to travel for a deal. Um, he's bought some cars from some pretty far distances and drove them back or had them shipped here because you know a, a particular vehicle or a deal uh, was to be had. So I already went over our market adjustment on these trucks. You know it's probably not something he's gonna be willing to pay but uh, in any event we're gonna give him all the information he needs let him test drive the truck, answer his questions, and you know, uh, you know, just be here for him in, in any way that he needs. We can work out numbers if he chooses to do something. I have a couple uh, trucks here available, which is good. Um, or I explain we can factory order the truck, and if we do that, it's a straight MSRP deal minus whatever incentives uh, you have at time of delivery. The problem is, like he was saying, right now he qualifies for a bunch of incentives. Uh, you know, like the Costco rebate, the cyber cash, the, uh, the the educator discount, you know, stuff like that. So if you do the order, you're saving because you don't have uh, you don't have that market adjustment. However, you might not have the same in rebates. So it's really a guess of what the deal will be. I finished up with my client and uh, what he's gonna do is he's gonna kind of hold off. So one of the things he really needs in a new truck, uh, if he decides to go with one, is like the sliding rear window. It's an option that he's gotta have because he, you know you do the Home Depot run, you put the two by fours through the window into the cab and then you have enough room you know, to have him come out to bed. So the three trucks I have, none of them have that window. Uh, so I told him I would have to actually factory order him a vehicle if he wanted me to get him one. He also showed me one he was looking at at a Ford store, which was a 2020 with about 2,300 miles on it. So we talked about that one. Looks like he's not gonna do that either. He's gonna kind of hold off. Um, best thing for him to do is kind of just wait it out another maybe four or six months, see what the spring brings, see if inventories increase and see if uh, pricing and rebates, um, you know, help bring the prices down in a sense. Hopefully prices come down uh, for folks in the spring. So we'll see what happens. Let me see if I can knock out this Colorado video now. Before whatever storm hits, we had some uh, weather on the way. It doesn't look like uh, it's going to hit us. Hope that it happens because I can knock this out real quick. So I just got a call back from my customer uh, that ordered the truck last week. He's still on a forum board, which forums are crazy fast. Information really travels quick. Yesterday, GM announced that certain vehicles are not gonna have heated seats, ventilated seats, 
uh, second row outboard heated seats, and I think I saw in here heated steering wheel yeah. um, on certain models during certain production weeks. So Malibu Trailblazer, Blazer, Equinox, Traverse, Colorado, and Silverado 1500 LTD, 2500 and 3500 can all be affected. So, you know, we have orders and GMA have orders that are in the system that, you know, even though it's not produced yet and it was ordered with equipment that would normally be standard due to this chip shortage, it may be built without that. It looks like a lot of the credits uh, for heated seats is about 250 bucks and they have some credits here for 500 that's probably to ventilate it as well. Um, so just another, uh, another, another uh, incident taking place due to this current chip shortage situation. We're all currently bringing our vehicles inside because this storm about 10 miles or 15 miles west of here is producing hail. So rather than uh, you know possibly getting a damaged vehicle due to hail, uh, we're gonna bring them inside. So get ready. There'll be definitely some comments about me parking my bolt inside of a structure, but um, we're gonna do it anyway. We'll keep an eye on it. Look at this thing. How do you start it? Here we go. Oh, this is nice. Don't worry, Mike. I'm not going to move your seat. I'm more than comfortable here inside your BMW. We actually quickly just brought in like every new car we have to protect them just in case we do get a hailstorm. So everything's in the shop, everything's protected. And now we're just gonna keep an eye on the weather and see what happens. All right, we have hail. It's not nearly as good as it. Cows and flies, I'm coming down. Whoa! You know, we couldn't get the Camaro. I'm gonna go back in and eat lunch. If it gets any worse than this, um, you know, I'll let you know. I'll show you. Today I went with Tropical Cafe for lunch. We got a nice jerk Caribbean chicken burrito and the sweet potatoes. Storm's over. It was a real brief, quick, uh, quick thunderstorm that passed by. A little bit of hail, nothing crazy. So we're just gonna get all these outside. Uh, better safe than sorry, since we only have a handful of cars, might as well protect them to the best of our ability. Remember this RST Tahoe I put in the previous video uh, where I was comparing this to the LT model that we had? Now this one had the 22 inch black wheels ordered with it, which comes separate from the, from the vehicle. So they use like this steel wheel uh, to ship the vehicle to the dealer. And then when it gets here, we actually then install the 22 inch black wheels. The crazy thing about this is these black wheels are currently on back order with no ETA. So, how do we deliver this truck if we don't have wheels to put on it? 